Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter <laughs> Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector Channel where we are a community of collectors. Today we are opening up a subscription box that caught me by surprise when I opened the first box from them. And they have sent me two more boxes. Well, you see three here. One of them was a, a gift for Christmas, which was very kind of them. They didn't have to do that. But I am going to open this up for you guys to show you what's inside. But they sent me both sizes of their subscription boxes of the Wizard's Vault. Before we start with the unboxing, this video is sponsored by Undercover Tourist. Undercover Tourist have given you and me an opportunity. They have literally rented out all of Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida, which is home to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. You'll have unlimited access to both Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure theme parks after the parks close. They allow you to go into Universal Studios before the park closes, and then the private event starts after the parks close at 8 p.m. and goes until 12.30 a.m. on Friday, March 6th. Included with every ticket is unlimited food and beverages. That means you can go into the most popular restaurants and eat all of the food you want, like Leaky Cauldron or the Three Broomsticks. You could spend the whole entire event eating. There will be little to no wait time for 31 of the most popular rides and attractions at Universal once the event begins. Include Escape from Gringotts, Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, and the brand new Hagrid's Magical Creatures Motorbike Adventure. You can go to this private event for $173.66. I spoke to the people at Undercover Tourist and they have agreed to offer $20 off to the Potter Collector community. All you have to do to receive the discount is click the link in the description down below and the discount will be automatically applied at checkout. That link below will also bring you to more info, a list of all the rides and restaurants that will be open. I am super excited about this event. I will be there and I would love to meet all of you. And what's cool about the Wizard's Vault by Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes is when you sign up, you go on their website and then go through a little survey and and that helps the curators of the box come up with a personalized box just for you. So I thought that we would do a quick survey on their website so that you kind of have an idea of what that is like. So we're going to go to bibbityboxes.com and then we're going to shop box and scroll down to Wizard's Vault, Echo Vault. Now the two sizes, the larger Wizard's Vault is $89 and it comes with at least four relics. Now when you see the items that are inside these boxes, you're gonna be like, okay, I understand why this is $89. Like I got this pretty big brown faux leather duffel bag themed with Harry Potter on it in the previous box that I opened. And if you want to see that, check out my review of four different subscription boxes. In that video, I opened up my first Wizard's Vault box. But as I said, this comes with at least four relics for $89 and then they have the Wizard's Vault Silver version for $49, and that comes with at least three relics based on value. We're gonna select the larger Wizard's Vault. All right, so you choose your gender, boy, girl, or neutral. Then you choose your house, or you can select, I'm still waiting for my sorting ceremony. And then you choose your favorite creature companion. Or if you don't like animals, you can select that you don't want anything except for your robes, trunk, and your wand, but we're gonna select an owl. And then you type in your robe size, AKA your t-shirt size, medium. What is your Patronus? A raven. And then you go with favorite spell, favorite Harry Potter character, and then give a little bit of information about yourself. And that's it. And then they will customize a box for you. I went through that survey and we are going to see how they did. Let's start with the smaller version or the Wizard's Vault Silver Edition. But taking a look at that box, you can see a bunch of just Harry Potter related items on it. Cool box. And on the inside, I'll let you guys see first, as always, dun 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 dun. Not much to see. This is the packing slip. Oh wait, we don't wanna look. What's cool is they give the value of all of the items that are in here on the packing slip. We will take a look at that in a second. On the front, we have a sticker that says Wizard's Vault and it's wrapped up in tissue paper. What is this? It's, oh, it's, that's cool. A Hogwarts Express, and there are three pairs of crew socks on it. Sock size 10 to 13, perfect. And it's a little Hogwarts Express. And then on the inside are three pairs of wizarding socks. So we have Hogwarts socks. It has the Hogwarts crest on it. The next pair is house socks. So it has all four of the houses on it. 
And then this one has a bunch of H's on it for either, oh no, it's for Hogwarts. I was gonna say either for Harry or for Hogwarts, but at the bottom it says Hogwarts. So H is for Hogwarts. This is very cool packaging too. I feel like I saw this advertised at Target or something like that. Fun start to this box. Next up is a journal or a notebook with 100 pages and on the front it has the Hogwarts crest on it. And oh, the pages on the inside are very nice. It has a banner that says Hogwarts on the bottom and it's just a, a journal that you can use and, and write in. All right, and then we have the last item is a t-shirt, the Lost Bros is the maker. Oh, it's a Weird Sisters shirt. Needing no introduction, the Weird Sisters, live in the Great Hall for one night only, 1994 at Yule Ball, 25th of December, first time at Hogwarts. It's a Weird Sisters Yule Ball poster on a t-shirt. Very cool, I like this shirt a lot. I'm actually gonna put this on right now. It feels a little bit big, but this is awesome. This is perfect for Wizarding World of Harry Potter. All right, so there were three items in this box, and let's take a look at the values. The total retail value of this box was $63.98, and it cost $49. So the Weird Sisters shirt was $24, the Hogwarts Hogwarts Express three pack crew socks was $24. That seems really expensive for this. And the notebook was $14.99, which also seems a little bit expensive for this particular notebook. This shirt was definitely the winner of this box. The other items were kind of just filler for me, but this shirt is very, very cool. And let's take a look at the larger version of the Wizard's Vault. Put the packing slip aside. I'm expecting great things from you. Ooh, we've got a hat, a Slytherin hat. This isn't gonna look good on my head, unfortunately. The only hats that look good on my head are golfer hats. For some reason, the shape of my head, other hats just don't work. But this is a very, very cool hat. I like this. It's an adjustable hat, so that's nice. If you have a big head or if you have a small head, you can make it work for your head. I really like the design of this. I just wish it was more like a golfer hat. Next up, oh, looks like another bag. And this one is a spell bag. There's a bunch of spells and the spell movements on it. Oh, it's by Loungefly. Yeah, they make some good stuff. But check this out. So it's a, a backpack with schnigglies on it. And there's a spot for your laptop or your computer. And then when we open up the bag itself, I forget what these are called, but it's like a, a roll down bag or something like that. Looks like a lot of space in here. There's one, two, three pockets on the inside. And then there is a zipper pocket on the front. It has handles over here, so you can either carry it on your back or carry it in your hand. Very, very cool bag. I like the design, I like the print on it. I like the use of multiple materials, faux leather as well as this canvas material. And then the brown and the gray coloring is very, very cool. All right, let's see what's next. We have the Elder Wand. Now, when I put in my favorite character, I did say Dumbledore was my favorite character, so they got this right. And it is an Elder Wand pen. I wonder how it writes. This is the real test. Accio ink. Not bad, the ink flows really well. Fun pen. I'll definitely be using that. All right, and the fourth and final item in here is the Sorting Hat Heat Change Coasters. Place hot mug on a coaster to reveal your house. There are four coasters, and it looks like your house gets revealed in the center. So when it's cold, it's black, and then when you put something hot on it, it reveals the house of the particular coaster. And it comes in this, this nice tin. Fun item. All right, let's take a look at the packing slip. And the retail value for this box was $111.97. $70 for the Lounge Fly backpack. The wand pen was $9.99. The gray Slytherin hat was $19.99. And the sorting hat heat change coasters were $11.99. So in this particular box, we did pretty well with value. Out of all these items, the t-shirt is still my favorite. I think this is so cool, and I can't wait to wear this to Wizarding World of Harry Potter. And the last box, which they gifted me for Christmas, which was very kind, feels pretty heavy. Let's see what's inside. Put the information card aside. It's the Deluxe Edition Slytherin Scarf. I guess it's deluxe because it has the Slytherin crest on it. And this is a Cine Replica Scarf. Very, very nice. Wow, this is fancy, fancy packaging. Look at that. Oh, it's like a bag. Wow, this is very deluxe. It's a bag for your scarf. All right, let's fold it up and we're gonna put it in the bag because I've never seen a scarf bag before in my life. 
So this will keep your scarf protected and out of trouble in its very own deluxe edition velvet bag. We have a bonnet beanie. Oh, it's a Slytherin one as well. This is a box of Slytherin. Very, very cool. Who is this made by? This is also Cine Replicas. It's a slouch beanie, so you put it on your head and it like kind of flops. Rupert Grint wears these a lot. It's just a box of Cine Replicas. How cool. And then we have some Slytherin gloves. Very useful for the Chicago weather. And the gloves are phone touch sensitive gloves, so you can be wearing these gloves and still access your phone. Thumbs and the index fingers allow you to use your phone when you have the gloves on. There is also, oh fun, a Cine Replicas Slytherin stocking. This is gonna be great for next year. And there's one more item, possibly a candle, it's pretty heavy. It is a candle and it says Happy Christmas on it, made by Wishes Candle Company. And then on the back it says, we hope you enjoy your treasure hunt. Always be sure to let the silver prize become fully visible and put out the flame before removal. So there's like a special prize on the inside that is revealed after you light your candle. Ooh, it smells very, very, very Christmassy. Mmm, smells like pine and just this is Christmas. I'm gonna save this for next Christmas because this smells, this just got me back into Christmas. I'm ready to put my Christmas tree back up. The total retail value was $108. You guys, you didn't have to do that. That's very, very kind of you. And I'm looking forward to using some of them during this winter season and saving some of them for next Christmas. Out of the larger and the smaller size boxes, my favorite item was definitely the Weird Sisters poster shirt, as well as this backpack, the Spell backpack. My least favorite item is probably the notebook. So what are your thoughts? Leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite items were. And if you would like to subscribe to The Wizard's Vault, the link below in the description will show you where to go. A big thank you and shout out to Bibbidi Bobbidi Boxes for sending me these two Wizard's Vault boxes to open for you. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything you saw in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time. Hey man, Mike from Perth, Western Australia. Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?